If you're a PS4 owner who thinks that you have to wait until you have a PS5 to enjoy God of War Ragnarok, I have some very good news for you. This game plays like a million bucks on PS4, and that's because it's mostly the same as its predecessor. The same, but better. It looks great and it plays great because it delivers more of the first game, and that's a good thing and a bad thing. Make no mistake, it has some tricks up its sleeve, but it's a definite case of being more of the same. It just so happens that when it comes to this game specifically, more of the same works because it's more of the same of one of the best games ever made. We've been playing on PS4 Pro and it's impressive. The performance mode seems to deliver visual quality much higher than the one from the previous game, while still doing its best to try and hit those smooth frame rates. It's not perfect, but it still makes for a pretty fantastic experience, even on a giant 4K TV. If you're playing on a base PS4, you're still very much in the conversation, especially if you're still playing on a 1080p HD TV. And again, that's essentially because you're playing a new and improved version of the experience you got playing the previous God of War not that long ago, except a bit better. When I took a quick look around YouTube to see comparisons between the different versions of the games, I was stunned. The difference between the base PS4 version and the PS5 version running at full pelt really isn't that different. If anything, it's not the PS4 players that have anything to be unhappy about, it's the PS5 players who invested in the console early and have yet to see it really, really flex its muscle. For me, that's not too much of a negative though, because it's actually really exciting. If this game looks this good, we can only imagine what things are going to start looking like soon, especially once the old generation consoles are fully left behind. That of course doesn't mean that the PS5 versions look bad by any stretch. If you think of the fact that this is essentially built off the capabilities of 10 year old hardware, I think it's pretty safe to assume that in the near future we're going to get our minds blown. PlayStation have already released some banger exclusives in 2022, with games like Horizon Forbidden West, Gran Turismo 7 and now God of War Ragnarok. As someone who's currently playing on the Xbox Series X as his main platform, it only ever takes a few minutes in these games to be reminded that Microsoft really needs to pull up its socks when it comes to delivering anything near this quality. I find this whole situation both good and bad for both Microsoft and Sony. On one hand, Microsoft really has to pull its socks up. The Xbox Series X is immensely powerful, and yet the console doesn't have that much that can keep up with Sony exclusives even running on old gen hardware. At the same time, PlayStation came out and said they believe in generations, and yet here they are, delivering three major exclusives on previous generation hardware. And it's a tip of the hat to them as they shoot themselves in the foot, because they've done such a good job. But it's also made me feel like I'm in no rush to get a PS5. This of course is still working for them, mostly because they still can't make PlayStation 5s quick enough to meet the demand. So keeping in mind all the things that PlayStation said before this, are PS4 games too good in 2022? Yeah, they are. And if that's a bad thing for anyone, it's a bad thing for Sony. They're not exactly convincing me to do some sort of blood ritual to try and get my hands on a PS5. I actually feel pretty well served as a PS4 owner right now. At the same time, I've lost count of how many people I've heard saying they're just going to wait for it to come to PC. Of course that's not the case for everyone. A lot of people are dropping money on a PS5 just because God of War Ragnarok came out. And of course they were lucky enough to find stock. But when it comes to us as gamers, this is fantastic news. Especially for people who can't find stock of a PS5 or just don't have the money for it. Sony has had to do quite a significant 180 on their original statements that they believe in generations. As a result, it's us, the gamers, who have ultimately benefited from this. Is this the best course of action to push technology ahead and give us the most absolutely mind-blowing video game experiences available? No, it isn't. But when it comes to doing what's best for the broader video game market, especially from a company who says that they're so concerned about what's good for the gamer, it almost seems like the folks from Microsoft were onto something all along, doesn't it? We're heading back to enjoy God of War Ragnarok, so thanks for watching. If you're busy playing it on PS4, drop us a comment and let us know how the experience is going for you. Thanks again and see you soon.